Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I am the author of Toxic Light and we're here to take a look at the water in your house and more specifically the voltage that's on your water in relation to the electrical system of the house and to do this we're going to use a very simple high impedance digital multimeter and we're on the AC scale and right now we have a display that keeps on changing and that's because our probe is not connected to anything. Our other probe is actually grounded to the wall out there. And if I ground this probe as well, you'll see that the display goes to zero. Okay, so I just took it off for back in free air. And to measure your water voltage, you need to put the stopper into the basin and you just need to run your tap. And what you do is you just put your probe into the screen and you look at the voltage on your meter. So we're in the screen right now. So we've got almost one volt difference between the water in this house and the grounding system, of the electrical system. So one of the things that I'm looking into right now is this house seems to have grounding problems. And I'm going to spend some time actually looking into them and trying to get rid of these voltages. But just to let you know, this is called stray voltage, and it also has another term associated with it, which is called stray current. And it's very, very well known in the dairy industry. If you were to expose cows to this kind of voltage, they react to it. And the interesting thing is, about two volts, cows actually start to die. So just such a small voltage can actually kill such a large animal. So this is one of the reasons why you have to be very careful about these voltages in your house. And uh, I would recommend that you test the different things that are in your house, such as the water system, your tile floors, uh, your electrical system, and see what the voltage differences are between them. And you may want to get an electrician to come out and check it for you and make sure that they're all reading the same. You probably want to be within about 100 millivolts on all systems. So that's my job cut out is to fix this long term. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.